Explorers, it's Story Couple here. I'm Explorer Kay. And I'm Explorer J. And today we'll be exploring with you, And I Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street by Dr. Seuss. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's do it. This is Mulberry Street. A lot of clouds. When I leave home to walk to school, Dad always says to me, Marco, keep your eyelids up and see what you can see. But when I tell him where I've been and what I think I've seen, he looks at me and sternly says, Your eyesight's much too keen. Stop telling such outlandish tales. Stop turning minnows into whales. Now, what can I say when I get home today? All the long way to school and all the long way back, I've looked and I've looked and I've kept careful track. But all that I've noticed, except my own feet, was a horse and a wagon on Mulberry Street. <gasps> Look at that wagon and the horse. Is he eating? Is he eating? He's probably eating some apples. Apples? Look at those little trees. <laughs> That's nothing to tell of. That won't do, of course. Just the broken down wagon that's drawn by a horse. That can't be my story. That's only a start. I'll say that a zebra was pulling that cart. And that is a story that no one can beat when I saw say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Look at that zebra. That's He's a, changing that's that. a horse zebra. Aren't zebras usually white? That's a hebra. A horse zebra. <laughs> it's a hebra. Yes, the zebra is fine, but I think it's a shame. Such a marvelous beast with a cart that's so tame. The story would really be better to hear if the driver I saw were a charioteer. A golden blue chariot something to me. Rumbling like thunder down Mulberry Street. <gasps> look at him. He's going fast. Oh, look at that whip. Look at that cloud <laughs> of smoke. No, it won't do at all. A zebra's too small. A reindeer is better. He's fast and he's fleet. And he'd look mighty smart on an on old Mulberry Street. Hold on a minute. There's something wrong. A reindeer hates the way it feels to pull a thing that runs on wheels. He'd be much happier instead if he could pull a fancy sled. Oh, like Santa. Look at that sled. He's about to fall off. Hmm, a reindeer and sleigh. Say anyone can think of that. Jack or Fred or Joe or Nat. Say even Jane could think of that. But it isn't too late to make one little change. A sleigh and an elephant. There's something strange. I'll pick one with plenty of power and size. A blue one with plenty of fun in his eyes. And then, just to give him a little more tone, have a Rajah with rubies perched high on a throne. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But now I don't know. It still doesn't seem right. An elephant pulling a thing that's so light would whip it around in the air like a kite. But he'd look simply grand with a great big brass band. Wow. A band that's so good should have someone to hear it, but it's going so fast that it's hard to keep near it. I'll put it on a trailer. I know they won't mind. If a man sits and listens, well, hitched on behind. But now, is it fair? Is it fair what I've done? I bet those wagons weigh more than a ton. That's really too heavy a load for one beast. I'll give him some helpers. He needs two, at least. Look at those helpers. Oh, wow. They're so cute. What animals are those? What? Are, what? I think they're giraffes. Giraffes? I think so, too. Yellow giraffes. Yes. And look at this old man sitting on the back. They're having just so much fun. But now what worries me is this. Mulberry Street runs into blitz. Unless there's something I can fix up, there'll be an awful traffic mix-up. <gasps> Uh-oh. It takes police to do the trick, to guide them through where traffic's thick. It takes police to do the trick. They'll never crash now. They'll race at top speed with Sergeant Mulvaney himself in the lead. <gasps> Look the at those you. sergeants. Aw. The mayor is there, and he thinks it is grand, and he raises his hat 
as I dash by the stand. The mayor is there, and the aldermen too, all waving big banners of red, white, and blue. Look at those banners. Wow, so pretty. And that is a story that no one can beat when I say that I saw it on Mulberry Street. With the roar of its motor, an airplane appears and dumps out confetti while everyone cheers. And that makes a story that's really not bad, but it is still could be better. Suppose that I add... What more could you what add? What could you add? There's nowhere left in here. What, is, what else can you put? Look, he's wondering. Look, he's wondering. <laughs> what's going to go next? Look at these. We'll see. Wow. A Chinese man who eats with sticks? A big magi magician doing tricks? A ten-foot beard that needs a comb? No time for more. I'm almost home. <gasps> Look at that beard. Look at that magician and that Chinese man. Wow. I swung around the corner and dashed through the gate. I ran up the steps and it felt suddenly great. For I had a story that no one could beat. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. But Dad said quite calmly, just draw up your stool and tell me the sights on the way home from school. There was so much to tell, I just couldn't begin. Dad looked at me sharply and pulled at his chin. He frowned at me sternly from there in his seat. Was there nothing to look at? No people to greet? Did nothing excite you or make, you, make your heart beat? Nothing, I said growing as red as beet, but a playing old horse in a wagon on Mulberry Street. That's it. That's the end of the story. That was his adventure on Mulberry Street. And thank you for exploring. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street by Dr. Seuss. And we'll be reading to you another Dr. Seuss book next time. So we'll see you then, explorers. I'm Explorer K. And I'm Explorer J. Bye.